Okay, in this demo, we're going to use Azure Container Instances, ACI, to deploy an instance of the um, miniblog.core. It's just an open source project on GitHub. And I've got a blog post that there's a link to here um, in which I describe several ways that we could deploy miniblog.core. And this is just one of those ways. Um, but I just want to show how easy this is to do. And I'm going to use the Azure CLI um, to do so. It's um, one of my favorite ways of um, managing Azure resources. I've got a Pluralsight course on it if you're interested in learning more. And the first thing you always do with the Azure CLI is you log in and you make sure that you have selected the correct subscription. If you've got lots of subscriptions, you don't want to be accidentally deploying resources to the wrong one. However, I've already done that. I'm already logged in, so I don't need to do these first, um, first steps here. Um, however, I will make myself a resource group to store the container in so that I can easily clear up when I'm done. I'm going to use West Europe as my location. I'll call my resource group mini blog ACI and in Visual Studio Code, if I select these lines and press F8, it will run them in PowerShell. So there we go, we've created a resource group and I'm now going to create my ACI container. Now on Docker Hub, I've got my own container that I've made for mini blog core. Again, in my blog post, I talk about how I made this. Um, so I won't go into the instructions for that. You can see here on Docker Hub, here is my mini blog um, core. And I've got a couple of tags here. Um, a Linux build of it is what we're going to install. So the Docker repository is that. Um, you, of course, you don't have to use um, Docker Hub. You can use Azure Container Registry or any um, private container registry that you've got set up for this, but uh, it's nice and easy from Docker Hub. Uh, the container name that I'm going to call my Azure Container Instance. And then I just create the container with AZ Container Create, give it a name, the Docker image, um, this mini blog core, the resource group I'm going to put it in. I want it to have a public IP address because we want to connect to this and it's going to expose port 80. So let's run this command. And this is generally pretty quick um, to create, although um, I think it's actually still in a, a, a pending state. What we can do is we can ask uh, for the IP address of this container. Um, by saying az container show, I'm using the Azure CLI's really nice query syntax just to get at the IP address, although you did see it was part of that previous command. So we don't necessarily need to run this. And I've put that in a site variable. So if we, if we look at it, there's the IP address. Let's browse to that website. And if all has gone well, we should have miniblog.core up and running from that container. So that is incredibly easy. Um, the great thing with Azure Container Instances, it's kind of a serverless approach to Docker. I didn't have to provision anything in advance of this. Um, I'm only paying while the container is running. Obviously I'm paying now that it is running, but the minute I um, delete this container and stop it, I'm not paying anything at all. I can examine the logs, so let's just ask for the logs for this container. And we can see there's not really a lot uh, in the logs here. Um, it's saying that we're listening on port 80 and the application has started. So this is just what the console output from mini blog core uh, application is, and it hasn't logged any of our visits to the website. But if anything was written to the console in that container, we'd be able to see them with this AZ container logs command. And as I say, it's a serverless billing approach. So we're just paying while it's running. So if I want to stop this, if I delete that resource group, um, once that's deleted, I'm not paying at all for this. That container has been torn down and I've only paid for you know a few seconds worth of container usage. So it's a brilliant way. If you just have got a container, you want to run it in the cloud. Um, Azure container instances are superb for this.